All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and of course, fellow fish and accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is the end of June right now. I actually just had my last day of school two days ago and we are headed out to the water. It's uh, very early right now, not super early in the grand scheme of things, a little past five o'clock and we are going down to the South Shore. Um, I haven't been there for a good two weeks. Last time I was there, I was fishing pretty deep in the back bay. Uh, it's been fairly warm. Today I'm gonna mix it up. I've got some time. I'm gonna try fishing a different area, much further away from the back bay. And especially since the water's been warming up, I think that might be a better call to try and find some good fluke numbers. I bet there still are some good fish in the back bay, but I just wanna switch it up. Um, so yeah, same general practice though, fishing light tackle, lightish. Uh, I don't foresee myself fishing anything more than maybe a half, if not three quarter ounce, uh, if the current is really moving. Definitely the chance some porgies might show up too and some other fish, so that's the plan. Hopefully it's something that uh, appeals to you. So thank you for checking out the video. Stay tuned, because you know what we're about to do. Get some fishing. All right, on the water, early enough, it's about 6.30. Outgoing tide, still pretty high. I'm gonna start right close to launch, uh, an area that's been well to me. We're gonna start with the gulp paddle, sorry, not paddle shad. We're gonna start with the gulp uh, six inch jerk shad, three eighths ounce jig head, tried and true. Seems a little warped, but it should still do the trick. Hoping there's still some good fluke around. There should be. It's not, water temp's about 68, 69. It's not too hot yet. Should still be some good fish moving into the this area. That's good enough. We're just gonna jig this and hopefully find some action. Okay, rolling up in the first spot. We've got a nice little ledge here. Goes from like 30 down to 25, back up to 30-ish. See if anyone's home. Didn't take long. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of these guys today. See Robin in the boat, first drift. That's a fluke. That's a fluke. It's a good fluke. Feels like a keeper. Not huge, but nice. Feels like a nice fish. Feels like a very nice fish. Oh wow, it's a really nice one. First drift, let's go. <laughs> Man, it just keeps going and going. Four or five pounder right from the get go. String them up and get right back down. Jeez, just spit the hook. Fluke bite has been nuts. No doubt in my mind this is a keeper, so we're gonna string him, measure him, get right over that drift again. All right. Just to put my money where my mouth is. This hawk is cheap. That is about just a hair over 22. Good start, four pounder. All right, first drift, we're on a keeper. This has been kind of like a reoccurring thing. Nice keeper too. I'm hoping it's not a five minute curse, but if it is, at least we're leaving with some meat. Let's go over that again, see if we can pick up another one. And I'm hoping there's some even bigger ones around. That feels nice. 
Oh, that's another nice fluke. Yeah. Might just be the fish I just lost. Not gonna keep you, but I just wanna document what I'm getting. Should be legal. If he's not legal, he's very close. For the record, I think he's a little short, but yeah, he's not even that close. 17 and a half. Pretty though. Feels alright. Not too big, but feels decent. Uh, looks like it could be a keeper. That's probably a keeper. I probably shouldn't lift this fish, but I'm not keeping him, so. One is 18. All right, just got an 18 inch in the last drift. I'm gonna try this spot one more time. Bite has definitely slowed down a little bit and there's still fish here, but I feel like I can potentially do better elsewhere. So unless this drift is something like really remarkable happens, either a huge hit or really nice fish, I'm gonna check out some other spots after this because I don't want to get too comfortable here but we'll give this a, a nice long drift see what's around Little. oh <laughs> no bueno not what we want All right, new area. This might be a really short uh, intermission. This is like a spot en route to another spot. And I've always thought it was kind of an interesting area because there's like extremely steep drop off. So right now we're kind of at the ledge and we might as well work it while we're here. I'm marking some fish in the bottom and uh, eventually we're gonna drop down probably like 15 to 20 feet. And, that I think could be like an ideal big fluke spot. But let's see if there's anything on the top of this ledge beforehand. We're not drifting super fast, so we can probably work this spot effectively. There we go. There we go. That's something. I don't think that's a fluke. Porgy, knew it. It's a nice one too. Jeez. Nice pork chop. Thirteen and a half. Let's try this drift one more time. It's got a decent porgy in the last drift. I feel like that's a lot of what is kind of hanging out here, but also looks like a really nice fluke spot. So let's give it the benefit of the doubt one more time. Ooh, that's a nice fish. No, no, that felt good, damn. I don't think that fish is coming back. We're moving too fast. Give it one more go. Just missed a really nice fish on that last drift. Felt like a fluke, so we're gonna go right over it again. It's a really small spot, so you're on it and over it really quickly. 
Let's see if we, uh, he wasn't on long, just felt the weight. Definitely a good fluke. Definitely a good fluke. Definitely a good fluke. Very big fluke. Very heavy. Thing is barely coming up. Yeah, he's, no, it's just tied. He's not that big. It's nice. Definitely a keeper, that's for sure. Bleeding. Not quite sure what happened to him. I didn't hook him bad. He's bleeding all over the place. It's like his gill snapped. I mean, he is a keeper. I'm not gonna let go of a dead fish, so I'm not quite sure what happened there, but we'll we'll keep him. I'm not quite sure what happened to that fish. I mean, he wasn't gill hooked, at least not when he came up. But I don't know if it was like an old injury that got exacerbated, but long story short, that fish isn't gonna live if I throw him back, and he is legal. I wouldn't have kept this fish, but I'm not gonna throw back a dead fish if uh, it's legal size, so we'll keep him. And uh, let's see if that was the fish that I missed the first time, or if there's a, another good fish down there. I'll keep some porgies now too if we get on them if they're big enough. Tide is nearing slack. Not getting a lot of action on the, the jerk shad, so we're gonna switch to the paddle shad. A little more movement. Let's see how it does. There he is. That's a fluke. Quick release. That's not what we wanted. I'm supposed to go the other way. You go in the water. All right, let's try that again. All right, well, right off the get go, switching the paddle shad, we got a fluke. Granted, we are approaching a bit of uh, the other side of the ledge, so not surprising there's fish there. But tide is basically about to slack out, so got a little bit more outgoing left. Uh, just gonna work this spot a little longer, see if we can pull a fish or two, and then maybe do a little exploring if uh, the bite completely dies. But in the meantime, you know what time it is. Time for our seltzer review of the day. Today is another Nixie brand, one of my favorite upcoming seltzer brands out there. This is Black Cherry Lime. Somehow Nixie does it again. Excellent, excellent seltzer right there. Very flavorful, both equal emphasis of lime and uh, black cherry. Easy, easy, like 8.75 out of 10. So definitely check that out. And thank you for checking this video out. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for checking it out. Let's see if we can get on some more action. Surprising we got, we're getting as much wind as we are. It's supposed to be like flat calm today. I'm not complaining. It's kind of refreshing, but it is keeping me from, you know, going way out into some deeper water. I am going to do a little bit of investigation, I think, if uh, the bite stays slow, but... I don't want to mess around if there's a fairly prominent breeze going offshore. Not today. We're back in shore. We're going to start making our way back close to launch. Hit a few spots in the way. Potentially even some of the spots we fished this morning. A bit more sheltered. But uh, let's just hit some new spots in the way. We are back. Definitely a little bumpy out. Got incoming tide, some wind with the tide. 
Let's see if it's even fishable. Kind of gross. There he is. Easy does it. Sayonara. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. Oh. What a hook set though, jeez. Well, that was a very, very good drift. Three drops, three fish without having to work too hard. Obviously, none of them were terribly big, but I didn't have to work too hard for them. So I bet if I, if that's a sign of things to come and we keep at it, we can definitely probably pick up some nice fish. So don't leave fish to find fish. Doing that drift again. I guess I spoke too soon after getting those three fish because I don't think I've had a really good bite since then. I'll do this one, maybe two more times depending on how things go. And if it doesn't really go or turn out well, we'll go back to where we started and go full circle. Unless we get something nice, we'll start making our way back to our starting point. Let's see if we can get one more good fish if not two. but he's not tiny, that's the one sure thing. Some decent head shakes. Oh, that was a keeper. <laughs> oh well, I don't need the meat. It's definitely the best one in a while. Just lost a good one right by the boat. Not huge, but definitely the best one in hours. Looks like a 1920 incher at least. But they don't take my word for it. It's really hard to tell until they're in the boat. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That'll this will make up for that one we just dropped. No doubt. No doubt, unless he's belly hooked. Figures, I knew something was up. That was not a terrible drift. I got that one look like keeper that came off the boat and then another short not too long after that. So now I have a better idea where those fish are holding. Let's try it at least one more time. really feel like there could be a, a really big fish in there if we just push through hard enough. Oh, come on, be good. This one could, this one has potential. Whoa, 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 sim it down now. No, <laughs> why does that keep happening? Ah, that was a good one. That was for some nice head shakes. Which 
just lost another really nice fish. Didn't see it, but it felt good. Every time I try and leave the spot, I just keep getting pulled back in. So let's try again. It's not a red hot bite, but it's a consistent one. If I go over a certain kind of spot, you know, if I go over the right area, go in the right speed at the right trajectory, at the right lure, I'm gen generally getting bites. And some of them are pretty decent, just not ending the way I want. He's not that big. This current just makes these fish feel so much big, so much bigger. It also doesn't help when they lay on the hook like that. Dead giveaway for these fish, if they're truly big or not, is the head shakes. The little ones or the smaller ones, like under keeper size, do a lot of like little wiggles. The big ones though will do a lot of erratic, like magnified versions of that. It's pretty obvious when you got a fish that's, you know, a fluke that's over 23, 24 inches, because it's completely, completely different kind of fight. And sometimes when you get them that size, they won't even fight at all. They'll just come up like dead weight until you get them up to the boat. Pretty uh, nerve wracking. That could be promising. Uh, the head shakes don't feel right. Probably fouled. Fouled or just ultra current. It's not terrible. Doesn't have the right head shakes to be a really nice fish. Be decent. That's like a legal sized fish. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. You surprised me. Definitely a keeper. and a half you know what sure we worked hard from today let's do it my strainer went overboard so we got to use the leash for the, the mirage drive all right let's see if we can get one more to close out the limit I don't know, it's, I think I like my boat better. Let me know what you think in the comments. I bet that guy hasn't limited it out the last two times he's gone fluke fishing. All right, let's see if we can get a legit limit, whether or not we keep that fourth fish. Just to say we've done it three times in a row. We've definitely lost several keeper sized fish. Let's see if we can make it official. this what the world what in the world is this this feels good this feels quite good quite good I have a good feeling about this one very good feeling about this one folks oh man we get this one we are done if this is what I think it is. 
If this is what I think it is, folks, we are done. This is exactly what we were holding out for, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't. Oh, yeah. Now that is a doormat. That's not a shower mat. That is a doormat. And we are out of here. Oh, yeah. That, just for perspective, 20 inch, 20 and a half, and then that. <laughs> I knew we held out for something, folks. And that exactly is it. So we are going to very shoddily string this guy up and get the heck out of here. That might be at least eight pounds. All sorts of tangled up, but it don't matter. Oh man, at least eight, maybe nine. This is my biggest NYC fluke for sure. And it's an awesome way to close out. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap, we're done. We're going home. I knew I was holding out for something and this was it. Paddle shed for the win, folks. For the win, paddle shed. I literally didn't even use more than one today. There, the hook is out. The hook is out. Oh God. We are out of here, folks. Hey, let's see what we got. I'm, I'm guessing like 27-ish. He's definitely my biggest one from New York City waters. He's almost 28. That thing might go nine pounds. Whew. Let's go. <laughs> Good to be back on the mat. All right, that is probably the best first day of summer fluke fishing I've ever had. Um, honestly, a lot of it is comes down to that last finale, but honestly, something just told me to keep fishing that spot. Like, I could have called it and went somewhere else many a time, but uh, for something just said, keep hitting the spot, keep hitting the spot, you're gonna be rewarded. And we had a lot of false starts. I lost several keepers and then started to come together and then we got that fish so sometimes things do work out just right uh but yeah super so stoked on that fish i'm guessing like nine pounds though i'm not sure i don't think he's gonna make 10. i'm gonna weigh him in the parking lot all right zeroed out let's see i'm guessing like eight ish it's got to be at least eight pounds at 28. Uh, but yeah, thank you for making it this far. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like button, subscribe. More stuff coming this summer. I'm going to try and switch it up, do all kinds of fishing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye from fishing.